holder tank is always made of plastic. Let us see how to fabricate a biogas plant having a fermenter of 1000 liters and a gas holder of 750 liter capacity. The material required for manufacturing this plant is black colored molded plastic tanks, one having 1000 liter capacity and the other of 750 liters. 90 millimeter T, one piece. 90 millimeter female adapter, one piece. 90 millimeter male adapter, two pieces. 90 millimeter end cap, threaded, one piece. Rigid PVC pipe, having 90 millimeter diameter, two meter long, one piece. Elbow of 63 millimeter, one piece. 63 millimeter male adapter, two pieces. 63 millimeter check nut, one piece. 63 millimeter rigid PVC pipe, 90 centimeter long, one piece. 12.5 millimeter PVC male adapter, one piece. 12.5 millimeter galvanized iron elbow, one piece. Epoxy resin and hardener. PVC adhesive solution. Biogas stove, one piece. Gas cock, brass, one piece. Ball valve, 50 millimeter diameter, one piece. The fabricator would also require a set of hand tools. They are file, hammer, sickle, large hacksaw blade, two pieces, 90 millimeter barrel piece, 63 millimeter barrel piece, 50 millimeter barrel piece, 12.5 millimeter barrel piece. First, take the 1000 liter tank. Cut its top in this manner. Perforate it near the base by pressing preheated 90 mm barrel piece against it. Then perforate the tank also near the bottom but with a 50 mm barrel piece. Make a third hole at this position with the help of the 63 millimeter barrel piece. The tank has now three holes, one near the top and two near the bottom. Now apply PVC adhesive to the 90 millimeter male adapter and fix it into this hole from inside. The threads now protrude out of the tank. Fix a female adapter on it like this. Wipe the inner surface of the adapter with a piece of cloth and apply PVC adhesive to the inner surface. Apply PVC adhesive to this piece of 90 millimeter pipe on the outside surface and fix it into the female adapter. Now take the 90 millimeter T and apply PVC adhesive to it on the inner surface and fix it on this end of the 90 millimeter pipe like this. All these pieces together should form a continuous linear horizontal pipe. Apply PVC adhesive to the internal surface of the free end of the T like this and fix this piece of PVC pipe into it. Fix a male adapter on this pipe like this. With the threaded end, 
projecting outwards. Fix an end cap on the threaded end. Fit a 120cm piece of the 90cm PVC pipe vertically into the T piece like this. This represents the inlet for the feedstock. Fit a funnel on the top end of the inlet pipe. Fix a 60 cm piece of the 90 cm pipe to the adapter on the inside of the tank. The free end of this pipe should project into the tank up to its center. Now, fit the 63 mm adapter into the hole near the top of the tank in such a way that the threaded part projects into the tank. Screw a check nut on the adapter like this. Fix this 45 cm long piece of the 63 mm pipe into the adapter with the help of PVC adhesive. This pipe projects horizontally out of the tank to serve as the outlet pipe for the spent slurry. Now look at the third hole. Fit an adapter into this hole so that the threaded portion projects out of the tank. The threads should be covered with Teflon tape. Screw this ball valve on the adapter and fit it tightly. Mix epoxy resin and hardener and apply this mixture to all the joints wherever a pipe is fitted to the tank. Place bricks inside the fermenter tank to create a support for the gas holder cap to rest on.